Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to talk with you about to connect any mobile device powered by Android or running on Android OS to connect it to the Android Studio. No matter if your device is any local brand or any worldwide brand, I hope this is going to work for you. I've been in real trouble with it and I've seen a lot of videos regarding this issue but none of them really helped me and I got so much frustrated but after a long day of research finally I've come to an end. So the thing is to connect it to the Android Studio in Windows PC it needs a USB driver though the developer site has provided the process to access the USB driver in here for Windows 7 or Windows Vista but this only works for Nexus devices. And also they have given a little more USB ADB drivers for a little number of mobile brands but there are so many other brands out there so what about them? And also these drivers here are not gonna work if you are using the Android Studio in Windows 10 or Windows 8. So if you try to do the way Google has provided to update the USB driver to do that you have to connect your Android device and you must have the USB debugging enabled. I've given the link below to enable the USB debugging of your device. So after that what we have to do just go to the device manager. You will find something like this other devices and after spending that you will find your device name or something. The way Google shown us to update the USB driver is right click on that and update the driver software and after that here we have to select the browse my computer for the driver software and here we have to browse the driver software location and it's in the SDK folder find your SDK location SDK here we will find extras and just under that we'll find Google and the USB driver. So hit OK and doesn't matter this uh, checkbox is checked or not and click next then you will see that Windows could not find driver software for your device. So the way failed. So the reason behind this is that there is a feature in Windows 10 or Windows 8 named Device Signature Enforcement and that is enabled by default. So what we need to do is just we need to disable that at first. So how do we do that? To do that we need to go to the Start menu and select Settings and here we need to go to the Update and Security and after that we have here recovery so click on the recovery and after that we need to click on this restart now button here this is called that advanced startup so after restarting your PC what you need to do is just follow these steps at first you will be shown to choose an option and then you have to select this one troubleshoot then the next one will come like this troubleshoot and you have to select the advanced option and in the advanced option you're going to select the start startup settings and then just click on this button here uh, restart button here and after that and here you can see that at the seventh position there is a option named disable driver signature enforcement and now you have to press f7 and your pc will restart automatically and after your pc has started what you need to do is just follow these steps. So you need to go to your browser and you need to go to the adbdriver.com and here you have to go to the downloads menu and here you can see automated installation universal and just under that you have the download link just click on that and your download will be started as I have downloaded it before. I don't need to download it again. So after your download have completed, you will see something like this one. adbdriverinstaller.exe. So run this. 
as administrator. After starting it, you will see here uh, the manufacturer of your mobile chipset and the description that we are trying to install something for ADB interface and the driver status here. So what you need to do is just now hit the install button. And here we need to select that install this driver software anyway. And as you can see here, the installation is successful and our device status is OK. And the description has changed to Android Composite ADB interface. Let's minimize it and let's check to our device manager. Here in the device manager, now you can see that here is Android device named and uh, just under that you will find the Android Composite ADB interface. So let's take a look it actually works in the Android Studio or no. To do that just start your Android Studio. So after starting your Android Studio here in the top section you will see uh, Android logo here. This is the Android device monitor. Click on that logo. And in the Android device monitor, you can see that uh, Walson Primo Z6, and this is a local brand mobile phone, and it's running on Android Marshmallow, and it is the status is online. So I've already made an app before, so let's try to run that on my device and hit the run button and you will see that your device is online this one is a running device and this is no emulator so hit ok and your app will be running on your android device so thank you guys for watching hope this is going to work for everyone and if it works then please like my video and share it and please subscribe to my channel thank you everyone